congratulations. You've, won, you've been on the same platform as your dad was. So how does that feel? Uh, I'm overwhelmed and I have no words to describe how I felt when I was called on that stage. And Appa was on this stage uh, winning an award from NDTV very recently. And thank you. I, I, I thank you and Pranay Roy, sir. Thank you so much for this recognition. And it means so much to me because it's before the film's release and also it's so prestigious. And um, it's wonderful to know that my work has been appreciated even before the release of the film. So I'm feeling overwhelmed. And also directing your dad for the first time. So when you approached him with Kochanya, I mean, your mom said he liked the, he basically liked stories about warriors and kings. So when you decided to animate the larger and the, then life, Rajni sir, so what was his reaction? Well, uh, I think Kochadian has, has, it just, it happened, I can say, uh, because I've been passionate about animation for many years now. And um, I've, I started a project a couple of years ago, and at that point, the technology was not as updated as it is today. And also for various reasons, that project got shelved. But my animation dream went on. And it so happened after that, that uh, my father started this film called Rana. And unfortunately, he fell ill. So once he got better, uh, we didn't want him to go through any physical strain. And this technology is not physically strenuous for the actors. Because shooting, I mean, if you see the little bit of the making um, of our film, um, shooting is step one. And they perform with um, infrared cameras around them with track points on their body. And that's the easier, easier part of it. So um, again, like I said, when my father got better and we came back uh, to, we brought him back to India and a, an idea of a project came up again. Since the script of Rana was ready, Kochadian is a prequel to Rana. And K.S. Ravi Kumar, who uh, wrote Rana, has written Kochadian as well. And um, during discussion, it just came up saying, how can we make it less strenuous? And I popped up and I said, let's use performance capture technology because it is, one, the first time in the country. And two, it has my dad bringing this technology into Indian entertainment. And three, it felt right. So I think it was a collective approach that we all did, my producer, Dr. Murli Manohar, and myself. And you know, it was a collective decision when we approached my dad and said, this is the story, and this is the technology. And my father asked me if I was confident of handling it. It is my first film. But I think um, God's grace, I think I, I have a strong knowledge in animation and technology. So I think when I spoke to him and I convinced him that I could take the role of director, it's only after he was convinced that the story was good and the technology was apt and that I could handle it, he gave his nod. It, it didn't happen like that. It took, it, it was a process. So what was it like directing your dad? You said, uh, he said you were a very bossy director, isn't it? <laughs> Wow, it was in, I, I don't think I'll ever forget the first time I said action and cut to my dad. And uh, I've said this before many times, the, there are three different me inside me when I direct my dad. One is a daughter, one is the director, and one is the fan. And it was such a struggle controlling all these three characters in me because each one used to pop up at each time. But I think, again, uh, directing my father in my first film has been a blessing. And I've learned so much from him. Every day during shoot was learning so much. and. Along with my dad, uh, I've worked with A.R. Rahman, sir, for the first time, uh, my first film. And uh, veterans like Shobhana Ma'am and Deepika and, you know, all of these senior actors. So I think my first film, God's just, God's been kind to me. And also, growing up with somebody like your dad, you know, he's the larger-than-life persona. What was it like for you? I mean, I'm, I'm sure he was just dad at home, but then when you go out, Rajni, sir, he is like God, you know, walking on earth. What was it like for you for as a daughter and as a fan? Um, I think I, I think star children in general, I think I can talk for them all. We're, we're born into that atmosphere. We're born into that um, scenario where things are larger than life. My father was a superstar when he got married. So when I was born, that was the only thing I saw. But I think uh, during school days, you know, that, that the way others, that was when we start thinking. That, that, that's when we start wondering about things and asking questions. I think at that point was when we realized the wow factor of, of my dad. I realized the wow factor of my dad. And I, I, don't, I, I cannot recall when I started becoming his fan, but I think 
uh, from what I can remember, every first day for show of his, I've been on the chair whistling as a Talibur fan, enjoying his film. So I think that being dad's daughter is, he's him. And I think one thing everybody knows, we don't have to say it, how he is at home is how he is on stage, how he is with everybody else. He's the most honest human being you can ever find. So. Um, yeah, I think, I think again, I'm blessed. I think I can say the word I'm blessed 10,000 times and I still will be saying I'm blessed to be born to him. And I asked your mom also, you know, after every movie of Rajni sir, there are those jokes coming, you know, anything is possible, it's Rajni sir. Or oh, it's cold here, Rajni sir has got his AC on. How do you relate to those? Well, honestly, I feel uh, there's a great underline of respect in every Rajni Khan joke. And it's only because my father can do the impossible, and only he can. So I think we take the jokes in a very positive way as a family, because there is respect. And my father is ultimate. He's the best. So it's, it's a compliment. Every joke, I think, is a compliment. And only he can do the impossible, and it's a fact. <laughs> And when he saw Coach Ania, I mean, uh, your mom also said the first 10 minutes he was a little stunned. So were you a little scared that maybe he didn't like what he's seeing? Well, uh, no, my dad did say that. But um, the thing is, he thinks of it from a fan's point of view. And he, was, he, he felt it was different. And we've released the posters and the uh, trailer of the film. And it is a created film. And people are going to watch Mr. Rajnikanth in a different avatar, uh, in a different form. Uh, in a younger form and uh, Coach Adyan character we've given him the six packs and you know the, the hair get up and everything so I think it was very different because what my father was probably trying to convey was it's not a live action film so you know many times people ask me does Rajneesa come for five minutes live in the film or does he come at the end does the animated character change to live so I think what he was trying to say is the audience must come and watch Coach Adyan keeping in mind that it is a photorealistic film and that's what he meant uh, when he said that, you know, the first 10 minutes was very different because probably he himself was expecting to see a, a more live version of him. But then Coach Dan is created. But um, the first 10 minutes he was, you know, he took to go into the subject, but the film is two hours. So if the first 10 minutes was something that he took time, he enjoyed the remaining film. So, yeah, he's happy with it.